take a seat. You are here because from the moment you were born, you were a danger to yourself and to the people around you. Why this is the case is unimportant. You are here to learn and will be kept here until you are psychologically capable of handling the world around you. This is what we aim to teach you. How to be mindful of what you think and do. Of the feelings of others. How you affect the world around you and how your world affects you. Welcome back, students. I hope you remember what we covered yesterday, because today we are moving on to the basics of morality. Point that at me? What do you mean? In the movies, the interrogator always points a lamp at me. Like this. Why did you come in here? I was curious. No, you weren't. You were evil. What do you mean? I don't see how breaking one little rule makes me evil, and seeing as it was clearly some kind of a trick. No, it doesn't. It's a symptom of your more... Comprehensive sickness. Since day one, you've been watched. On the day of your 13th birthday, you were diagnosed. Arrogant, ambitious, neurotic, paranoid, violent. All of these are characteristics of an evil being. Someone who enjoys getting pain and fear out of people to feel satisfied about themselves. What do you mean? I don't think I deserve to be accused of that. And even if I did, I don't think it's fair to lock up all the bullies of the world. I think there needs to be a balance of good and bad to keep us all sane. I empathize with your confusion, but you must realize the last person who shared all of these traits began a war across all of Europe. You've had a unique, unfortunate upbringing. Your father, a world-renowned smuggler and gangster, who decided to settle down with one of the most infamous burglars in history. Your childhood has been steeped in violence and immorality. After your father was killed over an old grudge, your mother sent you to a military school to try to set you on the straight and narrow, but with seven generations of highly volatile genes predisposing you to a myriad of antisocial personality disorders, it served only to feed the fire. And that's where we come in. We cannot allow you to continue developing into the villain you are sure to become. After you become that person, there's nothing we can do. You'll become too smart, too daring, and as you've shown by coming in here, too independent. No one will be able to save your victims from your vile intentions. Only the doctors and social workers to try and put back the pieces after you're done. Someone needs to intervene before it's too late. There are no heroes in this world, only bad people 
and the worse. And you are the worse. Well, if I'm the worse, then what are you? I'm the evil that protects the world from yours. A world that, if I had my way, you will never live to see again. <laughs>